Den Gamble, hm? Cem? Luffy. Das ist er, Bro. Er wird die Bro Quelle. Er wird. Guala. Die Quan e Padosh e che tanja bato. Baron Treshon e Condolon di Asha. Funia? Testalia. Wird die Nav? Wo war die? Sie wird die Nav. Dura. Be grobe hisch. Oh. Mais on grave, hein, Jésus-Zam, que la vérité, j'ai d'un tout un chef pour moi. Astina Pit, elle a roulé tâche. De quoi est pas d'oche, et qu'elle n'y a pas d'eau. Quoi n'est, quoi n'est. Et, balé roche, et qu'elle a mouillé d'eau. Et c'est quoi les maps C'est ça Fuck, Norv. Cliff Tag. Et t'en ce qu'il y a d'eau, et chaise pas fonde. Mika. Eh, t'es clan. Founia, t'es allé. Et, hum. E se si sondia, e globo tosce si, tre va a casa, e quando e collado. Pone, pone, e vale hoch, e che la moioto. Esh, ma, lo cunda, e le pese ronte chi va, di sboia vantaggi, e che dice, buona di, e le seme di, e la grava là, e che viene. Ma non grava, eh, Gesù Zam, che la vede, e dentro tu non si spurma. Per la goccia, ma, ma, ne, e stenzia! E quando lui asce tu, fai a tua! E roba! Ravelette, very blank. A lotion, a fracu? Pone, pone. E vale hoch, e che la moioto. Astina pit, e la hula tash. E ten schizoso, e scelz ba funda. Mica! E tra scioso zo, e che tenia bato. Tre va a casa, e quando e collado. Astina pit, e la hula tash. Ia, hm. E se si sondia, e che lo batosce si. Ten gram per la house. Avalo chunda? Suga na manushag? Ci sosa za... Vigvash ni tuga? Regva! Che vist? Gavahanda, treva kasha. E quanda i kolado. Fina tarde, fita molto tisci, tangua te, per quello non ti... La zola, Coop! C'è un'agla! Ah! Quello per un debò! Ah! C'è quello che può andare, sì. A tu, pasta? Marica! E si ne muoio! E va a dire, ma ho basciato! E che ha buone film! O va! Aí eu vou achar da boa rua aí. Ô, Batido! Ô, Rihá! Tô passa? Hã? Ô, Baxi! Ai, que salva! Hã, hã, hã! Pelo a Rihá! Rihá, ué! Pô, aí eu vou achar da boa aqui, Bojô! Ai, Rihá! Ô, Baxi! Ai, que salva! Aqui, cá, você tá boa! So since it's getting close to Christmas, I decided I would do a video on Rod Humble and Santa Claus. I mean, Santa Claus is kind of self-explanatory, and Rod Humble kind of fit for me because he's kind of a, a year-round Santa Claus in a way with his present delivery system. So just for the duration of this video, I've kind of switched up the Oakley household a bunch. In the storyline, the parents and their aunt have gone away for the weekend uh, with their baby brother, so it's only the twins who are here and their older sister, and then I've added all of the other children from from the other households in Blygate because they're all kind of getting together to uh, summon Santa Claus. It's technically supposed to be winter now but it's not in the game. They have their Christmas in autumn, they can do that, they can have it any time of year. So yeah this is a lot that I downloaded off Mod The Sims and since it's been about two years I can't remember what I modified to the original now because it's just been too long. Um, I think the majority of it is basically the same as in the original. I probably did modify the interior a bit. I'll post a link in the description though uh, to the lot. The Oakley family live here usually and they're kind of a large family. They have four kids, there's two parents. Their teen daughter is the older sim, she's babysitting her twin sisters. I don't remember which one's which, that's Holly and that's Heather. They're identical twins. 
All of the kids' names and the dad's name are based on like plants or trees, so their brother's name's literally forest. When I reinstall the game later, I think I'm gonna use this lot because I like it a lot. I really love this attic bedroom and it's got like an ensuite bathroom as well. I know I didn't do that because I never use uh, black bath stuff, but it actually looks pretty good. So this is Willow Oakley's room. Uh, she's the eldest kid and she sleeps in the attic. So yeah, her bio says, um, Willow enjoys studying and is an A plus student. She's always been a big fan of whales and dolphins and hopes to one day become a marine biologist. I know I meant to write is an, but how did I get it as? Like what? And it as a plus student. She has the lifetime want to become Hand of Poseidon. That's their parents' bedroom. This is the twins' bedroom. This is their baby brother's bedroom. The parents aren't on the lot at the moment, so I can't read out their bios, but their mum's bio basically says that she wanted more kids, but then her sister's moved in. And she's a family sim, so she wants like a big family. And so you can see there's this kind of half decorated uh, bedroom here. So this is the guest bedroom where their aunt is currently staying and then you've got kitchen living area and all this stuff so we have the other kids sims as well um we've got madeline madeline loves fairies ballet dancing and jumping rope uh she's actually related to the oakley family another thing i noticed when i was checking this family is that there were a bunch of sims who were supposed to be related that for some reason weren't related like the aunt wasn't actually related to any of these kids really annoying i think that means that in the version i uploaded they're not related i remember making all of the family connections for this family because i had to make them all separately move them onto a lot and then make it so they were all related and i'm sure i like checked but i don't know i don't know if anyone's actually downloaded blightgate a bunch of stuff is not the way it was actually supposed to be so these are her dads uh lysander and elia and elia is related to the oakley family her dad's cousin is their mum so um, she doesn't recognise them as family because they're distantly related and I could probably change that in Simpy, I think, but I haven't done that. And I've, I've introduced Joel before, he's part of the Sia family. And this is Abby. Abby is Joel's best friend and she's part of another large family uh, called the Chen family. Abby loves listening to metal music while jumping on the bed and reciting poetry. She dreams of being a violinist in a symphonic metal band. Abby's brother Alex is actually the boyfriend of Willow Oakley here. <laughs> Did I not set that up? I have like crush flags in the game, but I thought in my head that actually they were just in a relationship. Like all of my knowledge sims have like wants for other sims to become werewolves and stuff. Okay, so I've placed the Christmas tree here, and this might be a bit of a squeeze, but that's what I'm going with. We need a sim to actually make the Santa cookies now, to summon Santa. Could just use the inseminator, but I, I think I'm gonna do it this way. I spent ages, absolutely ages, trying to either find a mod that allows kids to cook, or actually make one. I started trying to make one and I realised that I just didn't know anywhere near enough about modding to actually get it to work. I changed the fridge so that kids sims could interact with it and they could take the Santa cookie stuff out but then they'd get stuck when they got to the counter. I did manage to find a few mods that allow kids to cook but they were all either older mods that hadn't been updated for newer expansion packs or um, basically dead links like old sites that are just gone now unfortunately which is Sadly the case for a lot of Sims 2 downloads. But I spent so long trying to get the kids Sims to be able to cook for this video that I am now determined. Joel is going to make these cookies. And after putting in all that effort, I realised that there is a way I can do this. So to make the Santa cookie dessert, first we need uh, at least one cooking skill point, and I don't think he has any? No. Okay, so Joel has the cooking point we need now. So I'm just going to very quickly modify his character file in Simpy so that it, the game recognises him as a teen, but he'll still look like a kid. So basically this is just like a quick loophole to enable him to actually cook for the purpose of the story. But we're gonna clip this and send him to the kitchen so he's ready to go. I think when I change his character file though, he'll probably be moved to the front of the lot. It always moves the sims back to the edge of the lot for some reason. I'm not sure why. But as you can see, he's kind of floating. He looks the same, but he's categorised as a teen right now in the game. So now we should be able to make the Santa cookies that we need to summon Santa. So I'm going to have him do this and then send all the sims to bed, because I think that's an important requirement for summoning Santa. 
So after I've sent them all to bed and Santa's appeared, I'm going to save the game and edit him back to a child because I don't actually want him to be a teen. At the moment, it does look like most of his wants are age appropriate and he's still got his uh, grow up aspiration. <laughs> you can see him kind of floating. Is he cleaning the table? Wow. <laughs> he is pretty neat, so. Okay, so we've got the Santa cookies. Is he gonna actually serve them? We don't really need him to do this. I don't want them all to use them though, because we need, we need to save at least one for Santa. His animations are kind of messed up right now. What is that red thing? I don't know if that's some kind of graphical issue. Oh, okay! Oh, right, I see what's happening now. It's because she's wearing this... I didn't realise that accessories that far down would actually pop up in the pie thing, but they do. I thought it was like some kind of red line, but it's just because she's wearing this watch. Oh wait! Santa's here already! They didn't have to go to sleep. Okay. I thought for some reason that you had to be sleeping for him to show up, but apparently not. I'm blocking him in here, I might have to use the move objects sheet to move him around. So I've changed Joel back into a child, and now we're going to add Santa Claus to the family. I think he probably stays around for a little longer than father time. I know that when I was testing it before, in normal gameplay, he stayed till about sunrise, but then disappeared. So he's a bit like a vampire in a way. So I'll make him selectable first. He's actually got four wants, which a lot of sims don't have uh, if you just make them selectable. They'll only have like a couple of wants or one, one or two wants and then the rest will be blue. But he's actually got like a full set of wants. He wants to become chief of staff. And he's a knowledge sim. So he wants to be saved from death and to maximise his skill, and a lot of sims, uh, a lot of universal sims seem to have these wants. Usually the others are like greyed out, but he actually has a few already. Um, saw first snow. I don't know when you saw that, maybe that was when I was testing something before, because there's no snow here, right? So he didn't see that here. And then, um... Oh, I, I've just realised, because his memory is a neighbourhood specific, right? And, oh, that's kind of sad. I've just... These sims are like, um... From before I realised the neighbourhood was corrupted, he did actually meet these sims. And I think... I think they had a brother as well that he should have met, but I don't really remember. I think when he interacts with sims, he automatically becomes best friends with them. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Those sims still exist, technically. I made them all, like, downtownies after I started modifying the neighbourhood, after I realised it was corrupted. In-game, he has this sort of face, but his, his thumbnail here is actually, like, a lot more like the therapist's face, and I think it's the same look that Father Time had as well. I don't know why they can't talk to him right now, because normally there's some options that come up so you can actually interact with him. Maybe it's because he hasn't, like, fulfilled his sort of... He has to put down a present first. Okay, so he put down the little bear. Right, now they can interact with him. Yeah, so every sim he interacts with, he becomes best friends with. So he's now best friends with Madeline. I'm not sure how he became best friends forever with uh, Gabriella. I guess maybe just the time. It's kind of weird, because he didn't become best friends forever with Stella, I don't think. Or maybe they didn't interact but it still shows they met so that's kind of weird oh yeah he uses the toilet a lot i forgot and you'll notice that his autonomy overrides the game autonomy the same thing was happening with father time with his constant napping Santa claus likes to go to the loo a lot apparently and he'll also eat the cookies although he didn't because that got interrupted before you know what we should give him a cookie <laughs> he needs the loo a lot it's kind of a problem Do you not sit down here anywhere? So this apparently doesn't work, I need to... Oh. Okay. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> I thought like he couldn't get in there, but eventually he managed it. Just eat in his cookie. You can't click on him. All of the pie menus you get when you click on a sim don't work on him. And he has this little, like, laugh that he does. I don't want him to disappear yet. 
if we add him to the household, I think he'll still disappear after a while. But let's try it anyway. Adding Santa. So I'm just going to send him to the mirror so we can see whether he has this face or like his other face. He still has this face here. I don't know whether editing this will update um, this thumbnail or not. I think that might just be kind of stuck, but I don't know. Change it. Maybe I have to actually change something first. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll try aging him up and down just to see like what that does. So I'm gonna mess with his age. I know I had some issues with this with Father Time where I actually ended up having to reinstall the Christmas pack. I'm hoping that's not gonna happen with him. Um, I'm gonna start off with the toddler age. Okay, so his toddler age basically has no face. All of his wants have mysteriously vanished. <laughs> okay! <laughs> and he has no face. As with um, Mrs. Crumplebottom and quite a few of these sims. He now has the grow up aspiration, but he still has his lifetime want of wanting to be chief of staff. I don't know if toddlers normally have a call to meal option. I didn't think they did, but... We'll try a child now. So he has his Santa hat now, um, because that hair is selected for children, but still no face. And he still wants to go to the loo a lot. Always in the same toilet as well, he goes all the way to the top floor. It's like his, it's like his favourite toilet. I don't know. I mean, look how many- look, there's a toilet here, there's a toilet here. There's a toilet here. So many toilets to choose from. I don't think he has a voice actor at this age. I'm just gonna have him interact with all the sims. Oh no, he, he does. He still has, like, an adult voice. Or is it an elder voice? I don't know. They still have the same kind of interactions. Doesn't seem to have the, like, laugh sound effect anymore at this age. Oh wait, no, there we go. So if we age him up to teen... I don't know if this is going to crash the game. I know I had some problems before with Father Time. No, no. Okay. But he still is... I don't know if we're going to get to choose his aspiration. I think he has some similar um, weird animation thing to Mrs. Crump or Bottom, but, but it's slightly less messed up. Like, I saw it happening a minute ago, you know? What is with his facial animations? I don't know where he's walking off to. I hope he's not actually leaving the lot. I need him to stay. I think he's trying to leave. I don't think I'm going to be able to reset him. It's much easier playing and messing around with Mrs. Crumplebottom because if you reset her um, when she's trying to leave, you just click reset once and then she's good for hours like because she's supposed to be on community lots for long periods of time she's much more playable than any of the other universal npcs i've seen so far i really wanted to see more of his animations but it looks like i'm gonna have to delete him for now there we go um it looks like his relationships have all disappeared i did have a similar problem with mrs crumplebottom at one point but oh what okay Right, he's just running through his scripts. Like, you've already had a Santa cookie, Santa Claus. We're aging you to a teen now. So I want to see... Now he looks like he's cosplaying as Vidkund. Yeah, it's sort of like what happened with Mrs. Crumplebottom, right? Like, she had this weird sort of clapping effect where her sort of hands would come together. Except she kept doing it. He's not- he's not doing it again now, right? No, wait, there we go. 
<laughs> they do these weird poses, some of these sims. I didn't see anything like this from Father Time. I don't know why it only happens with some sims. It would be interesting to know. But I don't know anything about like um, animation or doing poses or anything like that. I don't know why it's always the teenage group, but like every time I make one of these sims like do that. He does it a lot more slowly than Mrs. Crumplebottom does. His movements are like the, the normal speed, whereas Mrs. Crumplebottom's teen form was crazy. Like she'd zoom off at super speed. Some kind of nightmare. She's still carrying the purse and oh no, did you see that movement? Oh, that was scary. And if you look here, the green thing underneath him is in the right place. Um, with Mrs. Crumplebottom, at least one time I looked. If I try and move her with the move objects cheat, then she's so far away. I think that's why her movements and stuff are so messed up. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. It's just, it's like some weird idle animation. I don't get it. Oh, he actually left a, a toy car this time. That's cool. He's leaving quicker this time. He always comes back as an adult. Now he's invisible. That doesn't seem good. I can't see him anymore. I think we have to make more Santa cookies <laughs> or he'll disappear. He's not staying because we need Santa cookies now. I think that's what it is. <laughs> He's gone. Like, if there are no Santa cookies, Santa's just gone. Wait, no way. What? Where is he? Oh, he's here. Okay. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So he leaves coal. So I guess that's what happens if you say make the Santa cookies and he appears and then they're gone before he can like arrive. So I think he's actually gonna leave now because he's disgruntled about the Santa cookies. No, Palin, what are you doing? Okay. Well, we're gonna need more cookies then. I've aged him back down again. So she's gonna have to supply the cookies this time. She's done with the Santa cookies so we can add <laughs> like one sofa each. Almost. He doesn't have a sofa. Okay. Can you actually sell the coal? Like, what can you do with that lump of coal? It's worth one simoleon. I don't know what the problem is here, because there's... The cookies are right here. There's no option to make him selectable, I think, because he's already here. But then I can't restore him right now either. Is he... I think he's gonna leave anyway. He'll only eat Joel's cookies. These ones are like unsatisfactory. So he still seems to be here, but I don't know, he seems invisible. No? Now he's gone again. <laughs> what is that? Ironically, Santa can't make Santa cookies. He doesn't have the cooking skill. Doesn't actually have any skills. I feel like he should have a toy making skill. Like, if you have open for business. No Santa cookies. He's disappearing every time. It takes a little while for him to disappear from here, though. I don't know if it's because of the coal. Like, is the coal sort of messing stuff up? Like, he can't visit this house again for a little while because of the coal? I don't know. He still has a fear of being a zombie, which I assume he got as a teen, because kid sims can't become zombies. Okay, that's uh, interesting, but I guess because there's a slot above the phone, and apparently here too, for some weird reason. I can't seem to restore him at the moment, I don't know what's happening. Half of this bedroom has been decorated in like mermaid decorations and half in princess stuff, because it's kind of mentioned in their bios. Holly and Heather may be identical twins, but that doesn't make them the same person. Sure, they both love juice, but Holly prefers orange and Heather prefers strawberry. Holly loves the colour lilac, but Heather prefers purple. Holly loves mermaid princesses and Heather prefers princesses. Totally different. <laughs> I think I may have broken Santa. Demon cow bunnies come over. Yeah, that seems about right. Errors. Oh, he's got like a little hat. I forgot about that. I think everyone's still sleeping. If they're all in bed now, can we get Santa back? No. I don't know whether 
to quit without saving or not. I don't think it will make any difference to whatever's happened to him in the package file, though. So Sun is back in his location that he was in before. Oh, he's actually on- he's like standing on top now. See- oh no 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 no, Sun, no! Get back on the phone! Okay, well that's- <laughs> that's enough of that. I want to see what his elder form looks like, so before anything else happens... I don't think there'll be any weird animations for this though, it's too similar to the adult one. And for some weird reason there's no Elder Santa suit, it's only for adults. And his aspiration is changed to family, um, which is interesting. It was knowledge before. I know family is like the default one it normally turns to if you like age a sim up from childhood or whatever, but... I just checked and he did have the knowledge aspiration, so that wasn't from when I was messing around before. He actually just randomly switched when he was an elder to family, and now he's still family. But he still has the knowledge lifetime one. Look at this outfit! <laughs> Skater Santa. Before I messed around with his appearance, but I didn't actually like change anything, so I don't know if that will make a difference, but I'm gonna try that now. Got these other Santa hats. He could have like one of the other ones, I guess. So he has blonde hair. Let's give him a green one. He doesn't have the green outfit, that's the thing. Okay, so actually messing around, I've realised messing around with his age has actually uh, changed his thumbnail here so that it's the same. I'm wondering about his genetics though. If I get him pregnant with himself, He's not actually having an alien pregnancy though, but he's got this outfit anyway. <laughs> he's just doing the like ho-ho-ho thing in between trimesters. Is he gonna do the ho-ho-ho thing while in labour? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay, so I guess his genetics are actually blonde. He's come over to see. This is like quite a weird thing for these kids to be seeing, like Santa giving birth, what? Okay, so we'll grow her up and then see if she's inherited like these genetics or the the weird therapist slash father time genetics. She looks like his current face template, I think. Yeah, Santa is one of very few uh, universal NPCs that actually has a bio and it just says the big man. I think that's probably pretty much what his face looks like without the beard, I'm guessing. So... She's inherited his desire to use the toilet all the time. No, I think she's just going because, like, her blood is low. Santa is still trying to leave. Some say he never left that house. <laughs> he just roamed forever on the edge of the lot. I don't think the middle of the road is the best place to play catch, but I mean, I guess. So this is interesting, um, because I quit the lot without saving, and uh, 
Santa Claus is back where he was, but he has the hat from before. And I noticed this with Mrs. Crumplebottom as well. Basically, their clothing gets saved in the package file, in the actual, you know, object package file that they're located in. But a lot of other stuff doesn't get retained. What I want to try and do is age Santa Claus down to like a toddler, leave the lot and come back and see if he's in like his Santa outfit in toddler form. So I'm going to close the lot here and go back in and see what happens. <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. I couldn't get it to work with Father Time, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I don't know because uh, whatever I was doing with Father Time, it like broke and everything and I had to end up reinstalling the pack, but it's actually working. <laughs> the only thing that's kind of annoying is that hat is just wrong. It doesn't look right with the outfit. I should have switched that back before doing this. It's like a toddler in an oversized Santa suit. He's still got the beard as well, but like that doesn't work properly, so it's sort of cut off halfway through. Like part of it's part of looks like it's part of the outfit, but then he's got. Yeah, it, it's it's weird. Can we put him? Huh. It looks like he can't be put into the high chair. They have the interactions, but they're still only like the normal interactions that are always there. Let's see what that looks, the animations look like. Okay, so you just don't see any animations, basically. You can't feed him a bottle. I'm sure, like, you could feed Mrs. Crumplebottom in her toddler form, but the Santa sim really isn't recognised. Like, there's no option on the cribs. Uh, so you put Santa in the crib. And he has no hands! <laughs> no. So we can't get upstairs. <laughs> I'm just gonna give these kids nightmares. <laughs> Normally you can give toddler sims makeovers on the mirror. There's no option for any of this. We've gotta make him an adult, because then he'll keep the Santa suit. What the... <laughs> no! Oh. I think I can plan his outfit though, right? Oh no, his Santa suit isn't here. It's disappeared. There we go. Well, now we have the- oh wait, his outfit's regenerated, okay. Okay. He's gonna receive a friendly hug. Oh, it seems to work too, but he's got that hat again. Where does- why? I changed it! I saved- I changed it and I saved the game and he's gone back to this hat. I guess he just really likes this hat. Aww, so, so talking about ghosts again. Oh, Always with the ghost, Joel. Mm. Like these are adult male hairs. Which is kind of weird. Like you've got the adult male thumbnail here even though um, he's a child so I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, I guess that's one really weird way of having like a kid sim with adult hairstyles. Um, not really practical at all and also only really works with universal NPCs. Well I guess you could do the same thing in Simply. It almost looks right, I mean the boots look a little wrong but it, it, it works a lot better in child form than it does in toddler form. You can't play the piano. Why can't you play the piano? Because he's a child sim at the moment. That just says watch. Can you not play with that? So it looks like he can draw though. I don't know why he can't use the piano, that seems very specific. He's just drawing through the sleeves of his, like, giant Santa coat.
Little shuffle. <laughs> what, what's going on here? Oh, she's showing off her gymnastic moves. I think she just did a car wheel. And now for the ultimate test. If we boost Santa's cooking skill, will he be able to make the Santa cookies? What's happening now? It looks like he's wearing no clothes, like he's topless or something in his thumbnail. But he, he, I mean, he's got an outfit here. Okay, well, it didn't work this time, unfortunately, but we're gonna make the Santa cookies anyway. Wait, what? No, resume cooking. I think they're gonna be burnt now. He left them alone. No? Okay. Oh god, this table every single time. We have to do something about that one day. Yeah, they have to work through each of these seats before they finally think to... Wait, what? Ugh, why didn't you just do that in the first place? I don't get it. It's not impossible for them to sit in any of these seats and to scooch around, but for some reason they have to sort of... They get confused. Like shuffling around gradually, okay. <laughs> what if he changes into formal? Maybe he has the Santa outfit for that. There we go. His hat's changed back again. Okay, well he now appears to be invisible. <laughs> I don't know if this will bring him back into visibility or not. There we go. I think whatever weird thing happened with his outfit before, where he ended up looking topless in the thumbnail, may have contributed to his invisibility this time around. So now that the kids have made sure that Santa Claus is okay, I'm gonna go over to the apartment where Victor is currently staying, and we're gonna go and capture Rod Humble. So I've temporarily moved Victor into this apartment here. You can see like a gap through the wall. There he is! Now, I haven't tried adding him before ever, so I don't actually know what happens if you do. I don't know if he's one of those NPCs that just disappears straight away. So Rod Humble was added to the game in the free time expansion pack to advertise The Sims 3. Unlike most of the Universal NPCs, Rod Humble is actually based on someone who worked on The Sims 2 and I think The Sims 3. The real person that Rod Humble is based on was actually the executive producer for The Sims 2. First, I'm going to make him selectable. So this is Rod Humble. He has no aspiration. His aspiration is missing completely. He doesn't have the aspiration level here either. I think most of the time when a sim is missing an aspiration, this text will still appear. It'll just be like random text from another aspiration, or maybe it's always the romance aspiration. But I know I've had other sims with missing aspirations, and I think that text was filled in. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that though. But that seems to be missing. He has no memories and no personality and he's incredibly fit apparently and no biography 
so and he doesn't have turn-ons or turn-offs either which is interesting because he was released during the free time expansion pack uh, which is after nightlife well i didn't actually check santa claus to see if he had turn-ons and turn-offs actually i think mrs crumplebottom has them though i don't know you know i'm not 100 percent sure now actually so maybe some of the others are missing those as well seems to have like relatively normal pie menu functions but you can't click on him or talk to him which isn't surprising he can talk to other people though so that's i think that's kind of similar to what happens with mrs crumplebottom yeah and now he's gonna leave because he's sort of fulfilled his um <laughs> he's fulfilled his sole purpose in life i think okay so i assume since he's been reset he'll just do the exact same thing over again and this should be interesting because i don't know how many presents you can essentially get <laughs> Yeah, it's, like, it's just gonna leave like a bunch of presents. Can you put them on top of one another? Oh, no, not really. No, they just kind of... Okay, well that's a little disappointing. I wanted to build like a giant pile of uh, presents. You can do that with homework, you know. I think this is gonna be difficult. I don't know if he can be deterred from what he's doing. No. So you're just leaving again. Oh god. <laughs> you just left the present down there that time. Collect age. Toddler. Mm, no. His, like, functionality is very limited. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to do with him, to be honest. And I'm kind of glad I included uh, him in the Santa Claus video now. Because I, I don't think much of interest is going to happen with him. I need to be able to sort of stop him from doing his script. <laughs> <laughs> from doing a script all oh, the presents why is he just putting it here now he's not putting it up there anymore and i don't know why so if we open them i'm, I'm pretty sure you can get more than one of the pcs because i know there's ways that that can happen like normally yeah so he has two of them now what if he opens his own present i want you to open the pre look come on this is disappointing Open your present. No. <laughs> it's technically Mr. Humble's present. It says there. I'm going to try adding him to the household because I don't think I did before. And then see if that does anything. Probably won't. Can't imagine it will. Still trying to leave, but can we get him to reset? He just vanished that time. Normally he actually leaves properly. Restore family, rod humble. What's going on here? So he has a bunch of different wants now, all job related. It just like vanishes. <laughs> it's possible the instant stuff will work on him. Yeah, so, you know, anything that works instantly, most interactions won't work because his script will get in the way, right? So it has to be something that sort of works over the top of his script. I don't know if it would be possible to mod a bunch of stuff that does everything I want it to <laughs> sort of instantly. Uh, can I, talk? <laughs> I forgot he got, like, technically got fired from his criminal career track before. Even though he's fired, he's still technically working for the Shadow family. I mean, if anyone was ever curious about what his other outfits look like. See, this is why he got fired from the Shadow family. He can't make it work. But on the plus side, he does have all of these presents, so that's quite a lot of computers to hand back. Actually, I, you know what I've just realised by doing this? They don't have a base, which makes sense because they're always put on the ground, right? Why? <laughs> why not do that, I guess? I like how he, he now has a little present hat. <laughs> the stuff you put in the hand slot always disappears, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's actually on his head as well. You can't dance to this though.
you know, I really want to get Rod Humble doing this. I suppose I could download a clone of him, but it's, it won't be the same. I'm trying to put it on his head. You gotta fill up the other slots first, I think. There we go. <laughs> Rod Humble the present man. <laughs> yeah, unlike normal Sims, it, it doesn't remove the stuff that you put in his hand slots. This is close to dancing, I guess. He, he, he left one, but took three. <laughs> He took three of the presents. I should be careful though, if he disappears, I should try this with another sim, really. Isn't Jan Telemann dead? Sorry, Marissa. <laughs> You've become part of this experiment now. I think Marissa went with him. Is Marissa still around? Okay. Wait, what about this? No. There's actually a lot of objects you can't attach to Sims' hands. I know you can put Sims of any size into the crib. Like, look. Does it work with Rod Humble, though? It does. You can't leave now. Oh, no. I think he's going to continue to teleport out of the crib. No! <laughs> he's determined. How far will you teleport? Uh. What? <laughs> That's not. Wait, is he actually trapped now? He would leave the present anywhere though if he gets trapped. That's the thing. That doesn't seem entirely safe. <laughs> just like brandishing a lit candle around. So I just noticed that even though Rod Humble's aspiration is missing in live mode, it actually lists it here as the pleasure aspiration, so that's interesting. Yeah, so it now lists his aspiration as pleasure, whereas it was completely missing before. Now has a lifetime one as well to have 50 first dates. His turn-ons and turn-offs are still missing though. Well, I don't think that I'm gonna get Rod Humble to do anything else. Maybe I'll try it again later on a regular lot, but for the time being, it seems like he's pretty fixed into doing this very quick script routine. So I hope you all have a great Christmas if you celebrate that. If not, have a great time. I'll see you all in the next video.